The final bell rings and you're just in time You wanna jump on the bus and I take a ride It's time to relax and watch a show or two But then you'll realize you got homework to do Pencils are down, your brain's about to blow You gotta chill out, there's just one place to go You just click play, it's that theme song you know You're finally here, it's the after school show Now sit back and enjoy the after school show Hey everybody, welcome to the After School Show. Thanks for joining us. How's everyone doing? Hey, greetings everybody. Glad to see you're already joining us now, on uh, the After School Show. Now, if you noticed, I got a haircut. <laughs> yeah, you do have a smooth cut. Smooth criminal. Oh, yeah, I called you a criminal. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Follow us on Instagram. At After School Show. And you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Life of Dad. Because on Facebook, we're powered by Life of Dad. And please click like and share. Yeah, if you could click share right now, that would be super awesome. When we spin our prize wheel, we usually pick people who share the video to win the prize. And we are going to be doing the prize wheel along with this. On today's show, we're talking about sneaky veggie meals. We're going to spin the prize wheel aforementioned and I've got a cool video of the day. Oh, wow. I just like to say aforementioned. Aforementioned. Yeah, be like mentioned beforehand. Hmm. <laughs> so how'd your day go? My day was kind of like a normal day except a lot of people was like sorry a lot of people was <laughs> a lot of people were like hey did you get a haircut when it's really obvious? Well you it's were telling so me about weird. something else your flyers. Yes I've been getting a lot of um, text messages for my business. Yeah, Carlin started a lawn mowing business last year and it got a little bigger this year and now he's raking leaves and uh, apparently people are posting his flyer all over Facebook and he's getting messages from business owners saying, I started a business when I was 12, I did this, I, I can't hire you for this job but I, um, I hire people all day long and they don't have half the gumption you do and it's super awesome. Yeah. So we're super, uh, super excited about that and we're very proud of him for not only running Thank his you. business but for working hard. Now I posted a question on Facebook today asking do your kids like vegetables or do they hate them? Somebody said, Christopher said they hats them. I think he means hate them. <laughs> <laughs> and we asked you uh, what you like to eat, what vegetables your kid likes to eat, how you sneak in veggies. We've got some really, a really basic, basic but awesome trick and a couple different ways to do it today. But before that, it's time for what's in the box. What's in the box? All right, every Tuesday through Thursday, we give you a clue on what's in the box. On Mondays, we introduce a new box. Yesterday's clue was red, and today's clue put this back is, here. is cap. Yesterday's clue was red, today's clue is cap. So make right. sure to uh, be guessing what that is, because if you do, you could win a prize from the pretty good prize locker, it's got a ton of cool stuff in it, including a drone and gift card. So yes, be Marty, sure to try and guess right. <laughs> we shipped out a Taco Bell gift card this week, plus some swag. It's been going pretty good. So you want to get in on that. Subscribe at youtube.com slash after school show. Comment and share right now. Please do. All right, to this. All right, Robin says, one kid loves veggies. One kid hates veggies. And Mary <laughs> Lou said, my kids have never complained about any vegetable and they didn't have a choice about eating. <laughs> it's hard to complain when you know mom's gonna bring down the veggie hammer. That's funny. Um, Chris said, don't you call me a kid? And yes, so Chris doesn't like vegetables. <laughs> I know a lot of adults that don't like vegetables. I know uh, an adult that got the gout, which is like the, uh, this, your foot swells and it's got more to Ooh. do with not eating vegetables, but that's one of the things that can, can start the gout. And so it would feel like pins and needles when he walked on his foot, it would swell up. It was ugly and gross. And I was like, dude, just eat some carrots. Like get over yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. Tomato and basil soup is where it's at. Zach, you are close to what we're going to be talking about today. Um, and <laughs> there's some people making some guesses on the lunchbox. Brussels box. sprouts. Oh, I do not like Brussels sprouts. Yeah, you don't have to like every vegetable, but there they're are like things mini you can do. They're like baby cabbages. Oh, but they're oh so good. Did but I you just like say some cabbage. cabbages? Cabbages, yeah, it's cabbages. Oh, okay. All right, 
Let's go to the cooking cam real quick. Ooh, cooking cam. All right, here's the thing. We're going to be hiding carrots and we're going to be hiding zucchini today. Now, zucchini, you don't actually have to peel if you're going to cook it, but we are going to go ahead and peel it now anyway. It makes it a little easier to grate. I'm going to give Carlin this vegetable peeler and this zucchini, and he's going to peel these real quick right All there. All right. All right, we've got our burner on. Now, um, whew, cheese on many vegetables is a win for us. Now, Nate, a lot of people hide veggies with cheese, and I'm not against that. But sometimes you don't want to keep adding more cheese because, like, my daughter eats so much cheese, she couldn't go to the bathroom right. Like, she loves cheese. So, um, there are some other things you could do. Somebody said, I think a good way is to start a garden to have them help. It also helps That's pretty cool. find ways for them to learn responsibility and earn allowances. Um, that's a good one. My child eats everything you give her except spinach, Michael says. All right. Well, here's a thing. Here's the thing. If your kids <laughs> like spaghetti and pizza, I want you to comment right now. Do your kids like pizza? Do your kids like spaghetti? I know that's a dumb question. Do your kids like pizza? Most kids do. I might eat a carrot right now. But... Pizza and spaghetti are the easiest things to get vegetables into. What you need is a quality box grater. Now, I have linked to a good... Why did I eat food on the show? That's so rude. <laughs> I've linked to a good box grater on the Facebook video and on YouTube.com slash After School Show. It's in the show notes. It actually has a container at the bottom that can catch... Why did I eat a carrot? This is so rude. I just spit a piece of carrot. It was the <laughs> dumbest, rudest thing you can do. The box grater I linked to has a container on the bottom. It actually catches everything you use. That way you don't make a mess. <laughs> Nate says his kid eat, um, eats carrots with ketchup. What? He said figure that one out. <laughs> Paul said, my daughter has been a vegetarian since six. Never been a problem for me. That's awesome. All right, so here's the thing about a box grater. You've got a really small side, okay, which does work, but carrots are very water heavy. Um, and what that's going to do is give you more strings. If you use the larger tooth side, this one right here, and start grating your carrots, you're going to get some really decent size, but small. It's like the middle ground of carrots. This goes so fast. And what you can do is you can take a two pound, two pound bag of carrots and just do this. As soon as you come home from the store, wash your carrots, peel them if you really want to. That's good, Carla. All right. And um, go ahead and just box grate out all of your carrots right then. A pound or two pounds. Steven says, my son gives me a hard time eating his veggies and is also lactose intolerant. See, so cheese doesn't work for Steven. Ah. Um, Olivia says she kind of likes carrots. I love carrots, and that's why I took a bite of one, which is totally rude to do. Bill says one of his <laughs> favorite things to do is put lemon juice on them, usually for broccoli. All right, look at this carrot. Now, the thing about carrots is they're heavy in water. Uh, all vegetables are. They have a high water content, okay? So they're going to stay nice and moist, and they're going to really do well with a sauce. Take your uh, zucchini and do the exact same thing. Now, you can do this with any vegetable. You can actually shred cauliflower this way. You what? can, oh, yeah. yeah. You, can, you can buy Another shredded secret. cauliflower. Shredded cauliflower and mashed potatoes. Yeah, you can sneak that in. So here's the thing about putting it in a tomato-based sauce. Kids are never going to be able to see the veggies. Now, we've got this heated up. You do not have to cook the vegetables first. If you want to do this the quick and easy way, what you'll do is you'll put some veggies in a crock pot. Ooh, that's super hot. Ooh. Still getting used to the on-screen... Um, cooker here. Ooh, that's hot. So what you want to do is go ahead and put the vegetables in a crock pot, like before you go to work, and pour in your tomato sauce. And here's the thing, you can use pre-made tomato sauce, but if you want the vegetables to be really soft. Ooh, can I do this one? Yeah, go ahead. 
if you want the vegetables to be really soft, you cook them first, okay? You cook them, you give them some stirs, you let those vegetables sweat, okay? And what's gonna happen is the water's gonna come out of them, they're gonna start cooking, they're gonna soften up even more. Now the trick is you can put it in any sauce. A good bolognese sauce, which is a popular spaghetti sauce, has vegetables in it. It's got carrots in it. You can ah. either use diced tomatoes like this. There you go. Oh, there they are. Diced tomatoes, just like this. Or you can use already made sauce, including, there we go, pizza sauce. That's right, you can actually just put the pizza sauce with your veggies, cook it all together, and your kids will not know that there are shredded vegetables in there. They have been eating an extra two, three, four helpings of vegetables since we adopted them in their spaghetti, and they have never known there's carrots and zucchini. Nope. And the best thing to do is just get a box grater, come home from the store, immediately wash your carrots, box grate them out. If the container that goes on the one we linked to isn't big enough, you can put it in Tupperware or a Ziploc bag. Thanks for sharing, Rhonda. We really appreciate it. Um, Danny says he has a horror, I think horrid time instead of torrid time, I'm not sure. <laughs> horrid time getting a nine-year-old to eat uh, veg because she's so fussy. I'm just gonna use the peeler there. So all you have to do is keep sweating those down and then pour in your sauce. I would actually put three or four carrots in my tomato sauce. And all it does is make a chunky, sweet tomato sauce because the sweetness all comes out of those carrots when you cook it. But here's the thing. Don't cook them first, it's fine. Get yourself a crock pot, get yourself one of those Instapots and go ahead and put it on uh, with the sauce all at once and it's, just it's let it cook idea. together. Then you can have meals when you come home. And if you want, throw some chicken in there in the morning, frozen chicken, throw it on high and by the time you get home, you know, like a chicken cacciatore, it's you super awesome. You know I awesome. love me some chicken. <laughs> uh, somebody said my, Oh, it, it blinked by too quick. Sorry about that. Uh, Emily says her kid's a vegetarian, and Barbara just makes a hmm face. I'm going to take <laughs> that as a smile, Barbara. This is the absolute best way, trust me, to get vegetables in your kid's diet. They will not know there are carrots in and the Zach, pizza you should sauce try it. or, or the uh, tomato sauce. Zach says, I think I'm going to have to try this myself for the wife one day. Zach, I guarantee you. It's great, it's easy, and if you soften your veggies up first, they're really never gonna know, especially if you cook it in a crock pot all day long. It's very tomatoey and very awesome. All right? all right, number one way to do it, get a box grater, go ahead and grate yourself up some carrots and zucchini, and you could throw in some other stuff too. I bet that I could shred a couple Brussels sprouts in there and he'd never know that either. <laughs> All right. All right, you know what time it is. It's time to spin the wheel of weekends. All right, why don't you grab the wheel? Let's see right. if people can see it with the uh, cooking setup we got here. All right, go ahead and get, whoop, there we go. All right, and it landed on Too Cool for School Pack. All right, that means one of you dudes or dudettes out there will be winning a Too Cool for School Pack, which consists of notebooks and other school supplies that have some really cool designs on them, like superheroes and this pretty, right Pretty here. cool. Nice little school stickers, notebooks, pens, awesome fun stuff. So tell them what they got to do to win, Carla. You have to subscribe to the After School Show. And you can find the After School Show at youtube.com slash after school show. Um, my three-year-old has sensory processing disorder, ADHD, speech apraxia, so I'm always looking for ways to sneak him in veggies and healthy food and very few foods he will actually eat. Well, Kayla, thanks for sharing. Definitely try this out. Try it in pizza. Go to Trader Joe's. Get yourself some pizza dough. Stretch that out. Put this on there. Once pepperoni and cheese are on something, kids don't think there's vegetables in there. Okay? <laughs> Kids do not think there's vegetables in there. Now, here's an extra secret trick. If you really want a super hottie, you've got a kid that's a CSI expert. Use an emulsion blender on it. Just grab your emulsion blender after the sauce is put in, cook that, 
use the emulsion blender, and that will obliterate any of the carrots. We're just not going to do it on the show because I don't want it to be too loud on the microphones. Grab an emulsion blender. You can get these things for $5 to $12 at Walmart and Target or Amazon. Oh, and wow. you will never know anything was in there. You, you won't even know there was tomatoes in there. And if you run, want a smooth pizza sauce, an emulsion blender is the answer to All that. right, well that's awesome, but it's time for the video of the day. All right, this is really cool. There is a fruit called the jackfruit. Now I found this interesting because the jackfruit tastes like barbecue. Yes, the jackfruit, which we will be trying next week if I'm you excited. want to know what it's like. We're going to be doing that and hopefully I'm going to be chatting with the guy in the video of the day. I've been emailing back and forth with him. So the jackfruit, when you cut it open and cook it, it tastes like roasted pork. It's this I wonder why fruit. it's called a jackfruit though. We'll get into it next week when we try said jackfruit. All right, I will. <laughs> um, Barbara said we just had noodles made with veggies. They like them. Yeah. Nice. Sometimes it is about hiding things. Sometimes it's about trickery. Luckily, he hasn't been too picky. He was picky about squash for a while. Yeah. So I said, buddy, just try it. Uh, he cried, and then one, he was littler. And then once he <laughs> tried them and said he didn't like it, I said, fine, you don't have to eat anymore, but I need you to try it. Robin said, thanks, my blender just broke, and I didn't know they were so inexpensive to replace. Yeah, you can get a very cheap emulsion blender. I, 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 pretty sure you can get it for under 12 bucks. All right. Um, <laughs> Robin said, what time will the jackfruit show be on? It will be on next week between Monday and Thursday, like all our shows on youtube.com slash after school show. And again, on facebook.com slash life of dad, because we're powered by life of dad. All right, guys, tomorrow we've got a really exciting show. Yes, I'm putting be a sure razor. to join us tomorrow. I'm putting a razor in his hand and he's going to put it on my face. That's right. Yeah. I'm either brave or I'm stupid or I'm both. You decide. Join us tomorrow, same time next time. Bye. Click here and subscribe to our channel. And click here if you want to watch more awesome videos. Come on, click. I sit back and enjoy the after school show.